guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna do a little bit of a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm doing some errands with my mom and I have a lot to update you on. So instead of focusing on the products and doing a tutorial, we're just going to chat while I do my makeup and hopefully this won't be super long video. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my face first. I kinda wanna go for like a really warm, matte brown kind of smoky situation but like daytime style so I am gonna go in with my Canon Austin prime and protect mattifying primer I love this stuff for the daytime it has SPF 50 in it and I do think it does a great job with pores and keeping my oils at bay so I haven't really done much of an update the biggest thing that's been going on right now is um, my dad is pretty sick. So he has been having some stomach stuff. Um, he has diverticulitis and it's extremely painful. And he's also been dealing with C. diff, which is very common for people who have been in the hospital. Um, he has been in and out of the hospital since March of 2018 and within like the last four months he's been in the hospital four times so it's been really stressful and that's kind of why I'm not super active but I'm still pumping out the videos but they're not really like talking is I just had a lot going on in my personal life and I'm sure you know I'm not the only one I think 2018 was kind of a weird year for a lot of people so I know I'm not alone, but yeah, it's been really stressful and um, scary and we're pretty sure he's going to have to have surgery and he's in the hospital right now and he doesn't feel good and I don't have a car. Uh, on New Year's Eve, we were on my way to my mom's house and we were stuck in traffic. There was a bank robbery and a car chase and they ended up on the freeway right where we needed to go and we hadn't heard about it yet and Google didn't say anything about the freeway being closed yet because basically we left at like 5 o'clock and the shooting happened at like 4.30 so they barely had time to get everything picked up. So we're in the carpool lane and we're chilling and it's moving pretty slowly and we're not really sure why or anything like that we just kind of figure it's like holiday traffic like I said it was New Year's Eve at 5 o'clock and um, all of a sudden we get hit and there was that like metal on metal noise this foundation's pretty light coverage so I usually do like two layers so we're chilling and we hear this big noise like metal on metal and we see a SWAT truck continue to go like in the emergency lane like they hit us and just continued to go and like obviously there was a big situation happening so they couldn't deal with us and actually the driver we find out doesn't even remember hitting us they were probably just like in the zone and it was one of those like really big like armored trucks like a SWAT armored truck so so they hit like the driver's side and kind of like side swipe us there's not a whole lot of damage to the car but the wheels both had flat tires the front wheel was pretty damaged um we're pretty sure there's gonna be quite a bit of damage to the front tire but he was my husband was able to um change the back tires so that we could limp because we had to like get to the police they were up ahead they were trying to close the freeway and we basically had to wait like an hour and a half because it was highway patrol that was kind of like controlling the traffic and they had to get call like a police officer to talk to us and give us some information and that kind of thing. Oh, it was such a disaster. Um, the tow truck could not get to us. The freeway was closed. So they couldn't even like get onto the freeway to try to come to us. So that sucked. Um, we had two, we tried twice, two different tow trucks, two and a half hours later, finally we're like asking the police officers, there was another car accident up ahead of us, and there was a police officer kind of like doing the report for that, so he 
offered to give us a ride. So we basically had to abandon my car on the side of the freeway because we couldn't get a tow, couldn't drive it. And in the morning on New Year's Day, we're leaving my mom's house and she like let us take her car. And we're leaving on New Year's Day and I forgot my friggin' license in my car cause I was just so flustered. And so we're trying to drive to my car to see if we could beat the tow truck cause I haven't picked it up yet. And my car is gone. And the tow truck had not picked it up yet. The city ended up towing it. And so then we had to call the police officer that came and was helping us and figure out where our car was. And then he figured out where it was. And then he did the investigation. The driver didn't remember. He had problems finding the car, but he found it. So that's been kind of stressful. And then my car is in this lot and the insurance company can't tow it from the lot to the repair shop that I need to because we haven't released the car because then I was in California for a girl's trip with my best friend. We were visiting friends. We went to a theme park and I wasn't here. So we couldn't release the car. So my car is still sitting in the tow lot from New Year's Day. And it is now like the 7th. You guys, it has been so stressful. Like every, I've only been in like, okay, let's say two. One was like a fender bender and one was like an actual like accident. I just do not know how like dumb people handle being in car accidents because I'm a really smart person. I am not good in like stressful situations, but I am a very smart person and I know what to do and how to handle things and Stuff with car accidents is so freaking stressful and it feels like nobody wants to help and um, you don't have a car, you can't get around. It's just so stressful. And I feel like too with this, it was just like one thing after the other. Like the police officers would tell us, oh, tell your tow truck that we told like the city who's blocking the roads that they should be able to get through and they couldn't get through. And like, you know, they told us our car wouldn't get towed and they towed our car. And <sighs> it's just been like one thing after the other having to deal with this. I don't have a driver's license, so I have to like have my mom get a rental car. And like I said, my dad is sick and in the hospital. And so like, I. It's just been so stressful. Also really been struggling with my professional life. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with my life. I'm 29 years old now, I'm almost 30. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my life. I don't know. I've been pretty down about my channel. Um, it's just not moving like how I want it to and I mean I know there's like more things that I can be doing but like popping out these videos and dealing like with the other stuff with my dad it's just been really hard to find time to do promoting and <sighs> okay I'm gonna ruin my makeup yeah so I've just been a little lost lately I am not, <sighs> guys, I did not think I was gonna cry. I don't really have a path right now. I um, am just kind of trying to stick with this and try to, you know, stick with my dreams and what I want in my life and for my life and it's really hard when, you know, it's not going how you planned it to. It's hard to stick with it and it's like being on a diet and gaining weight instead of losing weight and you just, you just feel like you're doing so well and you're sticking to it and you're doing everything that you need to be doing and you're just gaining weight. That's how I feel. Whew. 
kind of need to get like serious there, but you know, I just kind of wanted it to be open. Uh, if you've noticed, lack of outtakes or posting or social media stuff. I've just been having a struggle. I just feel like I'm getting older and I'm not anywhere where I would like to be. And all the social media stuff is coming out and I'm trying to keep up and it is hard. It is hard. I didn't grow up with social media. I grew up with like I am and computer games and internet based. Stuff. Instagram and Facebook. Facebook didn't come out until I was in high school. We had MySpace. But even so, like, MySpace wasn't... I don't know. I don't know. It's so different now. And we are considering moving to Oregon, where Ian's family lives. And that's another hard thing for me. Um, people move all the time, totally get it, um, but the last time I moved I was seven and it was cross country and it was really hard and damn it. You know, I had to start over and I was young and it's a lot easier when you're young and it'll be nice to have like Ian's family around, but I don't know. I'm scared to move away from my home. This Phoenix is my home. I've lived here for 21 years. It's just hard. Like I have best friends, my parents. <sighs> Let me zoom you in. Before I continue with my story, I am using the original Jaclyn Hill palette. Mine's very well loved. And I am just gonna go in with some of these browns and try to do like a matte brown kind of eye. So yeah, it's been hard to like consider moving with all that has been going on right now. Um, especially like with my dad, it's just been so hard to like consider leaving, but We've lived here for seven years in this little apartment together, so it is time for us to move. I want to, you know, be somewhere, and I think we're going to rent for a minute. We're going to sell this place, and I think we're going to rent. I just want to make sure where we touch down is where we're going to be for a minute. I mean, I'm not the type of person that, like, has to live in a house for, like, 20 years or something. I don't think that's going to be our jam. But I still want to be able to live there for, like, seven or so years. I really like visiting Portland, but I'm just not sure that it is, you know, it's going to be the town for me. Or that's, like, where we want to raise our children even. And so I think we're going to rent and kind of see, like, where Ian kind of goes with his job and how like my stuff goes, where we're working, how we feel. It's also extremely expensive to live in Portland. So it, when we get a house, I want it to be perfect. We're gonna be spending a lot of money on a house. They're like $400,000 houses and I mean that's like half a million dollars that you're investing in something. You really should like it and so I think we're just gonna rent and see how it goes. We kind of want to move to Canada. Uh, things are just really weird in this country right now and I don't know how I feel about bringing a child into this world with so much that is uncertain right now. So that's all I'm going to say about that. It's just a little scary to think about having a child and not knowing what their future is going to look like. I guess that always happens though. I don't know. I've always been the type that like wanted to be ready and stable and have a house and everything ready before they had kids and I'm just putting it off. I don't know if I want to get into the kid thing. I just am so scared. I'm friggin' terrified. One of my best friends, um, my soul sister, she just had a baby. 
and it was really hard at first. It was really hard for me to kind of, you know, wrap my head around that and um, I wanted to have kids with her. I wanted, you know, I wanted to like experience all this stuff together and it kind of happened for them sooner than they were really like, you know, sooner than she was kind of expecting and so I don't know. It's just been scary, like seeing, she had a really hard pregnancy. That's scary. That's scary to see. I don't know, like all of it scares me. The whole thing scares me and I just don't know, like how do you, if you were scared to get pregnant. Like I wanna have a kid. It's not that I don't wanna have a kid. I'm just scared for everything that follows after that. Like it's all scary. Every little aspect of it, like every, single step of the way is extremely scary so how do you guys like get over that and just kind of have a baby how do you get through how do you tell yourself that it'll be okay how do you know that you're gonna make the right decisions how do you know that you're not going to like what about a miscarriage that scares the crap out of me like how do you deal with that like how does if you've had a miscarriage like how do you how did you deal with it did you obviously like nobody plans to have a miscarriage so it's not like you can prevent it or anything I understand that but like how do you deal like I can't even imagine dealing with something like that and that it does it scares the crap out of me the whole thing scares the crap out of me I have irrational fears every time I hear a story about a baby or a child dying it just adds to my fears like what about choking like there's choking there's like random diseases. I am so freaking scared. I think that if I wasn't so terrified, we probably would have children already. Like Ian's so ready. He's such a good guy. He's such a good like cat dad. And I just feel like really bad sometimes. Like it's totally my fault that, that he has to wait and but then like I get so emotionally scared about it. I cry every time I think about having a child. Like actually having a child. I'm literally not terrified of anything. Like I am terrified of having a child. I don't wanna mess it up. I don't wanna do anything wrong. I don't wanna have any heartache. I'm scared of labor. So comment below if you were freaking terrified when before you had a child about having a child and how you got over those fears and I think you know my mom tells me like when I'm ready I won't be so scared and stuff but I just like I'm 29 like how much, how much more do I need how long is this gonna take before I do feel ready I just like I don't know and I really like kids like I love kids I've always loved kids <laughs> I was the type of kid that like carried a baby doll around until it was like way too long. Like I was like old and I was still carrying a baby doll around. I love babies, but I am so friggin' terrified to have my own. I am not the greatest at like talking, expressing how I feel and when I'm struggling, especially with Ian. Like sometimes I just like don't want to like <sighs> load him with things and so I don't know, I'm just not good at communicating and then I just worry like if something were to happen, like I would shut off, I don't know how to communicate. You know, everything could be fine, I could not have a miscarriage, but I am so scared of being so broken because of it. I can like not push through. I just cannot imagine feeling so broken like that and being able to like get through it. If you shout out to those who have been through it and found the strength to get through it, you are the real hero. I feel for you. So yeah, anyway, that's what I have going on. A lot of these things that make me nervous are just because everything is so uncertain right now. So what are some of your irrational fears? Do 
you guys have them? I'm sure we all have irrational fears. Do you guys have anxiety? And if so, like what irrational fears give you anxiety? I have a really weird irrational fear that will give me a panic attack like almost immediately. Like I will start having massive anxiety immediately. Having kids is close second to this. But I kid you not, there's literally nothing in this world that gives me more anxiety than having to go to the bathroom and not knowing where the bathroom is. And I found this out in Europe. So by that I mean like you're in Venice and you're on a 30 minute water taxi and you have to pee and there's no bathroom. And when you finally get to Venice, nobody can point you to a bathroom and there are no such thing as like bathrooms that you can use in restaurants. So you have to beg somebody. I cannot tell you. I had so much anxiety. I literally had to focus on my breathing so much I fell asleep. And ever since that trip, like noticing that that happens to me, I try so hard just to not let it bother me. I can't do it. For New Year's Eve, for example, when we got hit and we were out there for two and a half hours, we were so lucky because I had to, I was starting to have to pee and it's like right when I start to have to pee, it's like always intensified by the fact that I do not know where, when, or how I'm going to find a bathroom. Like Ian has to talk me down. He's like, no, it's fine. We'll do this. Like in that situation for New Year's Eve, he was like, we'll walk. And we like grabbed all of our stuff and we went over to the cop that was helping the other people. And he was like, give me 20 minutes. and. I'll get you out of here and so then I'm fine like then it's not like a big deal like I can deal with it once I know how long I have to hold it I can hold it for a long time but if I don't know where the next bathroom is I have to go it's just one of those freaking irrational fears like I cannot tell you so what is your irrational fear that just builds up panic in you you have something like that my best friend told me that hers is water if she doesn't have water and she's like not somewhere like immediately her mouth dries up and she starts freaking out so what is yours I know we all have them so let's share our irrational fears so we don't feel alone so have you guys seen the uh, husband does my makeup video that we did and did so good I think it turned out so funny so if you haven't seen it you should definitely check it out it's really funny I definitely want to do more videos with Ian in them so if you have any ideas ones that you like I would love to do a mukbang I would love to do uh, like the hot chip challenge. I would love to do um, like I do my husband's makeup, blindfold makeup challenge. I would love to do all of those. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I love it. I think it's perfect for like glam running errands and I love the matte eye. I only use two shades from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I will leave every product that I use down below so definitely check out the bottom bar if you're interested to know what type of products that I use. I hope you enjoyed this chatty get ready with me and Please comment below what your irrational fears are or how you got over your irrational fears. I'm super curious. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy byes. I'm looking mad at this lip liner. It keeps breaking. I just did it again. Y'all, I'm not down. I really like this lip liner too, but if it's gonna break every three seconds,
I have this in my favorites video. What's going on? It like won't sharpen. This is the third time I've done this today. I just did it again. No, I just dropped it on my carpeting. Never to find it again. What's happening? Look at me! I really need to find the tip of that lipstick. Oh crap, here it is. The hell? Okay, I'm gonna try to be gentle this time. Let's see if that helps, because I was a little rough last time. Heck. I'm not done. Look at it. I just got this.